Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Place, and thank you so much for coming back to the channel for your brand new episode of the October Shell Challenge. I am super pumped for this one because I definitely wanted to take a little spin on it and make a modern house, but I wanted to see what you guys can do with it with making it spooky or spooky related. You don't have to go like full out like vampire, like mysterious, definitely like dark side. You can definitely do it like more modern take on it and then just kind of like dress it up, like put some ghost in there, put some pumpkins in there, you know, just to have a little bit more fun with it, just like that. Definitely doesn't have to go all out like I did personally. <laughs> oh Lordy. So right now, this is definitely just me making the shell, trying to find out what I wanted to do. That one side right here was looking a little bit plain Jane. So I wanted to add in this cute little bump out just to make it a little bit more interesting. That second floor is definitely gonna be a little bit tricky for you guys, or at least it was for me. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. But how in the heck are we gonna have like a second floor that's open to everything? But I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. I definitely place it down in Forgotten Hollow because I wanted to keep with that theme of spooky. So here's some little screenies of what it looks like. Definitely, I'm sure some images of what you guys are gonna do to it is coming to your mind right now. But the first thing that I knew that I wanted to do was that I wanted to bump it up. Definitely raise that foundation level because I definitely wanted to go that route. I definitely could see it being in Solani as well if you wanted to keep it more modern and definitely not have a foundation. Um, but I think in Solani you actually have to have a foundation if I'm correct. But I do mess around with this build a lot and figuring out what I want to do. You'll see in a little bit that I work with the roof and what I had going for it, the color wise, especially what I chose for it. I actually like reverted <laughs> the ones that I use and it looks better. I definitely changed the trim of the house too. And then later, later on down the road, I actually go back in and I changed the whole exterior of the build and make it a little bit more darker and like more bricks. And I guess I should tell you when this shell challenge is going to be due. And it's going to be due November 1st. I definitely wanted to try to get this out to you guys as quick as I can. So that you guys can go ahead and start doing this. And I'm definitely giving you guys a lot more time to work on it. Because October seems like it's really short. And I also got postponed a little bit. Because I gave more time for the September shell challenge. And I'm actually going to be viewing your September shell challenges that you guys did on October 4th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Center Time on Twitch. So definitely, definitely come in if you guys entered because at the end of it, we're going to actually be doing a poll vote and everybody's going to be voting. It's not going to be me. It's going to be your peers that are going to vote and see who the winner is and ultimately you will get a game pack. So if you did enter, you definitely should come in and say hello because you want to support your fellow builders because I know people are going to knock it out of this park. It was the underground shell challenge. Under, wait, was that right? I guess so. So I'm really actually really excited to see what you guys do with that. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with this as well. Now I do go through and I put in what I thought was steam vents, but apparently it's freaking bubbles. Oh my gosh. So you guys will see that at the end when I go into live mode and show you because I was so excited to see like the fog and the steam and stuff like that. But your girl put bubbles down. So yeah, that sounds like something I would totally do. And I did. <laughs> but my whole theme for this house was that like maybe it was a band house. Maybe it was like this really souped up modern like fancy house and the people let it go and or moved or died or whatever and these vampires came in and kind of like took it over and definitely made it their house. I definitely put like those vines like all over the place because I felt like it was definitely like that Adam's Family vibe where Marticia comes in and like she cuts off all the beautiful roses and leaves just the vines. So I definitely did that. I did put in like a little cemetery and I put all kinds of gargoyles up on top. I do go in add in more greenery on the top part because I just didn't like how it was kind of open in the middle and the trim on the freaking roof you would have thought was my kryptonite because let me tell you it took me forever to get those little suckers on there I was dying and I should have done it like on whatever the opposite side was but at that point I was just like you know what I ain't doing it. <laughs> literally, my take on it is literally just to kind of show you guys like what I would do. I definitely found out though that I'm not very good at like spooky building. So if you think you're a bad builder or if you think like, oh my gosh, I can't enter this because I would, my buildings would just not compare to other people's, please, please do because honestly, this is how you get better. Building stuff, going out of your comfort zone, 
And even coming in into the Twitch or even the videos that I post on YouTube and seeing how other people do stuff. And it's literally how you become a better builder is by learning through other people. I have learned so many tricks just from my subscribers. You guys the ultimately are watching this. And literally, you guys just blow me away every freaking time. Every time I think, oh my gosh, I'm going to totally stop on with this. And they're going to be like, what? And then you guys just like knock it out of the freaking park. And I'm amazed. So, you know, you guys are freaking awesome. I just want to let you all know that. So like I said, this was definitely like a vampire style house. I definitely feel like the person that came in, he just kind of like, I don't know, like removed everything from this house and made it their own. And so it's definitely dark. It's definitely spooky. The curtains are definitely there. And I felt like I wanted to put more windows in. But I was like, nah, a vampire wouldn't want more windows. So I just didn't even put any more in on the back side or the front or the side side. <laughs> I uh, definitely put in like all these kind of creepy cracks and stuff. I totally forgot to do it in the other rooms, but I did that. And then I put Vladdy Daddy definitely in the living room because I feel like that is like their homage to him because ultimately I'm sure he is the one that has created all the vampires in the world. So there is absolutely no kitchen in this build whatsoever because vampires don't need a kitchen. I mean, literally they're just going to be out sucking blood all night long. So I didn't do that. I didn't even put in a sink which I know was a crazy epic fail, but I was like, whatever. They don't need to wash their hands. They're totally fine. It's not like if they got some kind of disease or anything from not washing their hands, like they just wouldn't die. So it's totally fine. <laughs> and then upstairs, I felt like it would kind of be bouncing a wow wow place. But I'm sure they could do it in the coffin too, but I don't know. I just wanted to make another room up here. And I definitely put in some ghosts because I thought how cute would it be if Casper came to visit. You got a beautiful fireplace as soon as you walked in. More vines, more spiders, more cobwebs, and just all kinds of fun, crazy stuff that I put in here. But here you guys go. This is what it looks like. You can see my bubbles that I messed up and it was supposed to be fog or steam whatnot I really wish that we could paint the roofs I feel like that would be so much better because you could see the white underneath and oh my gosh that just aggravates the mm, out of me but I yeah the backyard is definitely plain if I could have spent more time on this I definitely would have put in like a pool and made it green or something like that but I just kind of want to show you guys what my take on it would be really quickly and here you guys can see that I am going in and fixing it up but if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button because it does just help our little village to grow. And make sure you guys leave me a sweet thumbs up and leave me sweet comments down below because remember, that is where you do shine. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you all so much. And remember, you can download this at Jessica Ray Plays on the gallery if you want to download the shell and have fun. And remember, it is due November 1st. So have fun, guys. And remember, this is not a giveaway build but september's was so hopefully i will see you guys later and i love you all so much and i'll see you soon bye guys mm -hmm. bye